Hello friends, this is Rupesh and you are watching CPP Nerds video series on C++ and this video is about MD span. So in previous video we saw a span data type. This video is MD span. So MD stands for multidimensional span. So if you don't know what is span, I would highly recommend that please go ahead and watch my previous video which is about span. You, you must be getting that link somewhere here right now. Please click it and go ahead and watch that. And if that link is not coming, please let me know. I'll, I'll just put it there. So we know that span doesn't contain any data. It just kind of uses a contiguous memory allocated by some another container or data type and it uses kind of a wrapper over it and it can modify the data but it cannot shrink or grow that particular container. I have explained all these things in detail so you must be knowing because you know that span now. So what is this MD span? MD span is multidimensional span. Before you was just iterating over this like from 0 to n but now you have multi-dimensional way of iterating over it. See, you said I want to create a MD span with this data, v dot data meaning this is vector data and you're saying that okay these many rows, see it is saying that view data is a contiguous memory representing two rows of six integer each meaning there will be two rows with six values in that. So basically you are breaking this 12 size vector into 2D vector or array or something. So basically you are visualizing this data in a 2D form whereas it is just a single vector and you have this 3D also see you can say 2, 3 and 4. So two rows, three columns and then we have this for 3D. So this is very simple loop here see we are iterating over this MS2 which is nothing but multidimensional span 2. We are first iterating over 2D and we are saying that first loop should run from zero location to extent zero meaning you are saying the rows this is what you are saying here and then you are saying that for jth number go for extent one so this is zero this is one and similarly if we talk about 3d this is extent zero this is extent one and this is extent two see this is extent two here okay and then you just simply access this ms2 with inj like 2d and you can modify it like this. So basically the intention is to treat this one dimensional array in multi-dimensional array. Okay. And you got the idea here, right? And similarly, you can go for 3D. It's just like you will have three, four loops, one, two, and three, and the extents will be like zero, one, and two. And this is the output. It is very simple. We are saying that two times three times two, and this three is like a row, like we'll have three rows and two columns. So this is two, and then will have this arrangement two times. So this is what it is. So using MD span can be really very good if you are so heavy duty on multidimensional stuff. So with that, I'll wrap this up. Thanks for watching guys. Bye bye. Take care. I'll see you in the next videos.